Wednesday, the college football playoff committee confirmed they would not expand this season's field. So does Oklahoma in this shortened schedule challenge season still have a shot to be one of those last four teams standing? Well, first, watching it last week, they look bad. The quarterback looked bad. When's the last time you saw that at Oklahoma? But then I was gently reminded uh, by people here that, <laughs> you know, back in 2014, same thing happened. We had a backup quarterback. He was a backup quarterback. We looked awful against Virginia Tech, lost, got better and better and better. Here's a challenge, though. When you look at Lincoln Riley, excellent coach, he's never been in a situation ever. I, you know, I, I, I don't know back at East Carolina, but at Oklahoma, he's always had veteran quarterbacks, mm -hmm. either transfers or veterans. Now he has a redshirt freshman that right now, and you two know better than anybody, once you lose your confidence, that is the most fragile position. Running back, in my opinion, go, keep going. Yeah. A quarterback, you have to calm him down. Because that you talk about when it rains and pours at that position, unless he gets his confidence back like JT Barrett did, uh, Oklahoma's in for a, a long run here. The one good thing I think Spencer Rattler and Oklahoma have going for him is he is a confident young yeah. man in, in his abilities and I think also in his, uh, his abilities to bring this team back and help them bounce back. And that's really, I think there's still a shot for them because every year they've been a part of the college football playoff, they've dropped the game and they've been able to bounce back. So Lincoln Riley's been through this before. I think he can help guide Spencer Rattler who, look, may be young, but I, I think it's, it's not impossible for them to be able to make the fixes and for him to be able to make some of those fixes and then and the last thing i think i'd just say is generally with the college football playoff you can lose early you just can't lose late and so as, as big 12 being one of the only power five conferences that's playing right now i think it actually might play to their advantage where if they start picking things up they're playing some really good football they end up winning the big 12 as a one loss team I mean, Matt, to me, I think you almost forget about right. what happened early in the season versus Kansas State. Yeah, I think so, too. And, and just the, the biggest concern is, is obviously is Rattler and his development. He's talented, but, you know, he still needs to develop. The biggest thing for me is a lack of leadership. When I watch that game, we're all sitting there watching that game. Where's the leaders on this football team when there's chaos, when there's adversity? When you're a championship football team and things aren't going right, yeah, coaches can get you fired up. You've been there, but it, you, you lie on the players, right? Yeah. Your quarterback, well, he's a freshman. He hasn't really been in those types of environments. Defensively, remember they had Kenneth Murray last year, the middle linebacker, the quarterback of that defense. Those guys are gone. Jalen Hurts is gone. Where do they turn to? I didn't see that on the, in the, you know, the locker room, obviously. I didn't see that on the sideline. To me, that's the biggest concern. Do they have that leadership to make a championship run? Yeah, and that leadership is very important, like you said, especially when the game's on the line, right, like the way it was for them. Um, on the flip side, the defense, they got to be better as well. And it seems, it feels like a, a common theme because it is, especially in the Big 12. I talked about Texas with their 19 missed tackles. Well, Oklahoma equally had a bunch of missed tackles as well, especially there was one play where they were trying to tackle Deuce Vaughn, and he broke about three or four tackles on one single play, and that's just about attitude, right? That's just about want to. That's about waking up, ready to hit somebody, ready to tackle somebody. So once they start to tackle better and, and to implement that aggressive mentality on defense, that's when they'll start to elevate their play all across the board. You know, Brady, the most unique position in all the sports, that quarterback, and I would always challenge our staff. There's only one thing worse than lack of confidence, false confidence. Yeah. And so you said when he said he's confident, I'm thinking, how is he kind? Just through three picks. So that coach has got to get him back. False confidence will kill you and kill your team. Lack of confidence, you can work through that. False confidence, that's why you, I used to use the term, be real now. Be real with your players. You better, you know, spell this thing out. We threw three picks. Get this thing back, and here's how we're going to do it. But false confidence... I mean, that ship is sunk once that happens. I think the toughest thing, too, for a young player is you are trying to prove to everyone that you're a leader. But to do that, you have to play well. So after those three picks, in your mind, you know, everyone else is looking at what you're doing right now to see how you respond. That's going to be the thing to watch in this game is how does Spencer Rattler respond with that confidence, whether it's false or whether it's legitimate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every game going forward for Oklahoma is a must-win oh, yeah. game yes. if they want to get into the playoffs. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.